Good morning. So today is the second last day for term work in the course. Um, in my experience, it's at, a, at about this point where people start going all over the place. Um, some people get ahead and some people are working on track and some people are um, trying to keep up. So I'm going to speak today like you are on track. And if you are ahead or behind, just adjust accordingly and watch the news items for the days past if you are behind. So today is the 20th. And sometime today you have a Google Hangout scheduled um, for Unit 4. Um, and this is found in the drama section of Unit 4, and that's Activity 1, I believe. So if we go to Unit 4, Activity 1, you would have read the content yesterday and watched all the videos. And um, you filled out the graphic organizer. So once you filled out the graphic organizer, you sh that should be enough for you to have the discussion for today. Um, the Hangout, since the class is smaller, because we had some drops, um, there's going to be like two to four people um, in the Hangouts. I also made more times so we would have smaller groups. Um, you can check the time that you signed up for. in the news item for today below. Um, last but not least, this is important. Whenever you're finished your discussion, you need to submit a short reflection into um, the Dropbox. And the Dropbox links, link is here. And I just want you to explain what you think went well um, and what um, you saw that you liked from other students um, or what you saw that you or other students could improve. Um, it's just being shared with me, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we want to focus on their use of speaking and listening skills, so that oral communication. So you're doing a reflection on oral communication in the Dropbox. So whenever you finish, so let's say you're in the 940 slot, at 10 o'clock when you finish your discussion, you can um, feel free to do that uh, reflection while it's fresh in your brain. All right, back to the checklist. So your Google Hangout discussion and your debrief is going to happen sometime throughout the day. So if you're at the second or at the seven o'clock time slot, you're going to want to do this stuff before and then do this at the end. Working on the summative essay is just an idea. It's just a suggestion if you do have time. If the stuff here takes you the six hours, then you just need to work on your summative essay some other time. All right, so moving on to the last activity. We're gonna start it today and finish it tomorrow on Friday. You only have one task tomorrow um, other than prepping for your summative essay, which is due on Monday. So let's hop over to activity three right now. All right, so activity three is all about prose. So we looked at drama, we looked at poetry. Here's some prose. The majority of this course has been prose. So that's why we're, we're going full circle here. So here is um, a, a text by Tim O'Brien and read the background on him. It's pretty interesting. And you're going to read the text. It's long. I'm telling you. Um, and then we're going to do a bunch of things with it. So we're going to do some of that stuff today and we're going to finish it off tomorrow. So when we go there, D2L is thinking, you're going to fill out the same graphic organizer that you've been filling out for Unit 4. So you did it for the poem, you did it for the play, and now you're doing it for um, Rainy River. So it's the same one. If you need the uh, Google Doc version, I made one for you in the, um, in the first content page. Um, and once you do this, you need to submit it for feedback. This is really important because I'm going to be giving you feedback on this because um, you're going to morph it into something more. So this is like a planning for what you're going to do later. So don't don't uh, rush this, do your best work on it, or I'm going to have to give you lots of feedback on how to improve. Um, next, you're going to generate a thesis. So once you have submitted your thesis, you are also going to submit it to the Dropbox. Um, this text analysis is going to be short, like typical of the other uh, texts that we've 
kind of been writing in this course about 500 words. So similar to a blog post, similar to our essay, um, our mini essay, that is. Um, so here are some examples of thesis statements for the other passages. So the history lesson and Hamlet. So you're going to create something similar um, to this, but not for Hamlet, not for the poem, um, for On Rainy River. And once you submit that thesis to the Dropbox, I'm also going to give you feedback on that. So the timeline is going to be pretty tight. I need you to have this in. Um, I need you to have this in on time if you, you're going to get feedback. Because tomorrow, your textual analysis is due. And it's due by 3. Um, I've shut the Dropbox off. It really needs to be done on time because we've got other stuff to focus on. Um, so the majority of the work that you're doing right here is going to help you get to this point. But if you're usually someone that works at night, tomorrow you're gonna to be working at night on your summative essay. You're not gonna be working on Rainy River. So if you need to do a little bit in the morning and then do the rest of your work at night, that is the way to do it. And the rubric is here, of course. So today is kind of a mismatched day. And since I'm gonna be doing Hamlet discussions for most of the day, I'm gonna be kind of unavailable. I'll have my D2L open and I'll um, answer pages and stuff but I'm gonna be behind on marking your blog post from yesterday because the majority of my day is gonna be facilitating these. So um, thank you for listening and we will talk to you soon.